Cosmic lets you build beautiful, responsive experiences and create the exact layout you want. Let's see how this works. When you build a design in Plasmic, it's built out of boxes. These are nested inside of each other. So on the left, you can see the structure of the page um, organized as an outline. And uh, I have a box for the entire page. And inside of that are the boxes for the various sections that make up the page. And if I select this text, for instance, and zoom in on it, um, you can see this text, it's uh, the text after it and the button. These are all boxes inside of another box. And that box is inside of another box. And that box is one of the boxes that make up the uh, box for the whole page. So um, there's a few different types of boxes which have different layouts. And layouts basically tell us how are the boxes content positioned. The most common type of layout is the vertical stack, and we see that everywhere. So this overall page is a vertical stack because you know it's just um, the various sections are uh, directly stacked on top of each other. Um, this box here is also a vertical stack. It's just you know the text, the text, and the button. And uh, this is also a vertical stack here, the text, text, button, uh, so on and so forth. And um, you know these are all. Uh, vertical stacks down here. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what that is. Um, so this is the most common type of layout. Um, you also have horizontal boxes like this one. This is a, a horizontal box of, of these icons. And uh, inside of this horizontal uh, stack is actually, um, whoops, uh, is actually a bunch of these vertical stacks. So you can kind of see the nesting in play again here. Besides stacks, um, the next most important type of layout to know about is the responsive columns. I'm actually not going to talk a lot about responsive columns in this video. I'm going to go into more depth on responsive design in the next one. But the short summary is that responsive columns make it really easy for you to have these kind of layouts where on desktop, I want things side by side, like they're shown here. But on mobile, I want them to be stacked on top of each other. Um, so that's what responsive columns uh, gives you automatically out of the box. And uh, the last type of layout that I'll talk about is the grid. Um, so here's an example of a grid. And grids are helpful whenever you have some collection of items that you want to display in this tiled manner. So let's say I'm going to add a few more items here. I'm going to set the overall grid to show, let's say, uh, four columns of stuff or maybe two columns of stuff. Um, so that's how, that's how a grid works. Um, so those are the main types of different layouts. You've got stacks, you've got responsive columns, and you've got grids. Now, um, if I uh, select a stack, going back to stacks, on the right-hand side, you can see a section for the layout controls. So this basically tells us how is that stack behaving. So for instance, I can set everything to be center aligned or right aligned or bottom aligned or centered. And um, I can also control how much spacing there is in between things. And I can switch to a horizontal layout instead of a vertical one. Um, and uh, by the way, uh, another thing to know is that stacks also let you wrap their content. So for instance, let's say I'm going to add a few more links here. Uh, they're just spilling out the side by default. But if I turn on wrapping, then everything wraps around and I can start uh, fiddling with the exact layout that I want. So I'll undo all that. Um, so those are some of the controls on uh, that you can set on a um, uh, on a stack, and uh, but right below that layout section is a spacing section, um, and the way this works is uh, there is padding and margin. So if I look on the screen here, see these little green areas? These represent padding. So um, padding basically tells us how much space there is uh, between the edge of the box and where the content for its children actually start. Um, so I can adjust the spacing just by dragging here or controlling it here. Um, margin is kind of a similar concept, but it's uh, instead of being inside the box, it's on the outside of the box. So let's, let's take this box uh, as an example. Um, so uh, we have the, the padding inside of it, which is how much spacing is inside of the box. 
but then we have the margin on the outside of the box as well. So that's, that's how much distance there is uh, between the box and the things around it. And so for instance, we use the margin to um, space out the text uh, apart from each other. We control the distance that way and the button as well. We can control how much spacing there is uh, from the text. And um, this, uh, if I get rid of this margin, another way we could have set this kind of spacing is by selecting this whole stack here and um, using the gap control to just set the same amount of spacing between everything inside of that stack. Um, but that means everything has the exact same amount of spacing. So if I wanted different amounts of distance between different items, like for instance, I want this button to be farther apart from the text than the than the, this text is from the text before it, um, then uh, it's better for me to reach for the uh, finer grained margin controls. So that's um, that's how spacing works. And the last thing I'll talk about when it comes to layout is sizing. So sizing is, um, I'm gonna take this button as an example. If I go to the sizing section, I can switch the width of this button to be stretch, and that just fills up all the available space given to it uh, I can also set it to be hug, which means it tightly wraps whatever content it has. So if I change the content here to be learn more about this product, uh, you can see it just naturally you know, uh, adapts the size to fit the text. And, um, and I can also set it to be a fixed size as well, just by dragging it or, um, or, or setting the width uh, explicitly here. So you can see um, what the value is. And um, that, is pretty much um, it when it comes to controlling the layout. So uh, just to recap, there's um, there's the uh, the layout, which is how thing how the children are positioned inside of a box. The spacing, which is uh, the spacing inside of and outside of a uh, box, and uh, then there's sizing as well, which is uh, how large that box is. In the next video, we'll go into more depth on layout and um, how to make layout respond to different screen sizes.